Tell us about Carbon Cub UL. We, you and I talked about this months ago. It was exciting then with the announcement at the Sun and Fun Innovation Preview. It really lit everybody up. This is a whole new generation of airplanes. Tell us what your uh, modus operandi behind this airplane is. Yeah, so the, the Carbon Cub UL, it fills a gap in our product line. Uh, we've got the X-Cub, which is our you know high-end, fast, heavy hauler, tons of useful load. We've got the Builder Assist program where customers can really come to the factory and customize airplanes to their specific mission. But what we didn't have before now was a great airplane for the international community, especially places where you can't buy Avgas. This airplane there fills that gap for us. We call it the Carbon Cub UL because overseas it fits into the ultralight category. It's not a part 103 ultralight here in the United States. Here in the United States it fits into the LSA category, but for our overseas international customers that don't have the LSA category and do have the 600 kilogram ultralight category, this airplane will go into that. Rotax has always been the industry leader in multi-few technologies. This engine here it runs on autogas and avgas equally as well. So it was probably two years ago we conceptualized launching their new four-place engine on our two-place airplane. So now you've got an airplane that meets all of the requirements to be in those international markets, but still also has amazing performance. Brad, what kind of numbers are you looking at for this airplane at this point? The category we want to be in is an airplane that can have a 200-pound pilot, 120-pound passenger, full fuel, and 20 pounds of baggage and still remain underneath that 600 kilogram weight. Plus have a best of class performing airplane, which is what Cub Crafters has always done. So that's the target. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. This airplane you're looking at right here, it's got the 916 IS with a constant speed prop. And this installation, even with the heavier constant speed prop, is already 40 to 50 pounds lighter than the 340 in the Legacy Carbon Cub SS. Uh, this airplane has a pre-preg composite cowl on it. We're getting into pre-preg composites that are about 30 pounds lighter than the vacuum bag composites we've used in the past. This airplane has a composite boot cowl on it instead of an aluminum boot cowl. So we're working our way back through the airplane. The final product, again, it'll have a lot more pre-preg composite. It'll have a lot more titanium in the airplane, lighter, more capable, smaller avionics, all that sort of stuff gets us to that target weight of this airplane here being under 400 kilograms with, like I said, a pilot, a passenger, full fuel, and baggage. This airplane right here is an engineering prototype. So we've got nine months to a year of development work on this airplane here, the rest of 2023. 2024, we will have market survey airplanes out. The public will be able to fly through our dealer network. That always helps us refine the design for the market. So first half of 2024, we'll have those airplanes in the field. And then the second half of 2024, we lock the design going to production. And the first consumer airplanes will be available starting in 2025. Outstanding. Brad, thanks so much for joining us on Airborne and Aero TV. And again, got to fly the airplane, man. All right. We'll get you up in it. Thanks, Jim. It's toxic to fly hypoxic. Smart pilots want their oxygen close at hand, so they're never impaired. That's why Aerox is proud to introduce the Boomula, the first headset-mounted oxygen-conserving cannula designed to make hypoxia impairment obsolete. The Boomula easily attaches to any headset and can be used with almost any portable or installed oxygen system. Find the Boomula at leading Aerox distributors or at aerox.com.